Okay, we're gonna talk real quick about some uh, marine grade plywoods and what to look for. Obviously you can go and get some uh, cheap marine grade, maybe at your local lumber store might even have it. We bought this half inch and you know, pretty much by marine grade, they're saying that they used a waterproof glue, but the lower grades at the lower prices, what you get into is these, uh, where's my pencil? You got what, one, two, three, four, four plies. And on the, you may have one face, one side that looks halfway decent. And it could have little cutouts where they put in what they call donuts. And the other side can just be a mess. This one's got probably about 30 knots on it. Uh, some of them not even filled. I was not too worried about this. I could have bought marine grade because of the glue and keep it stored in the shop. It probably won't fall apart if it gets uh, moist. And we're gonna use this to make a, a mold, a pattern for a little boat we're gonna build. Now when you go uh, start stepping up into uh, a kumes or sapel, mahogany type of plywoods, you're gonna get a lot cleaner face smooth on both sides a better tighter grain pattern which is going to either stain or paint real nice and then you're also going to get more plies so for instance this quarter inch or was it six millimeters has one thin veneer two three four five it's got five plies on a quarter inch whereas that half inch of a lumberyard ply over there only had four. Here's some uh, three eighths, which is nine millimeter. It's got five plies and this three quarter. Uh, someone else have to do the math, how many millimeters it is, but it has nine plies. And this is a, a kume that we bought uh, today at World Panel in uh, Windsor, North Carolina. Great place uh, they ship if, in the U.S. If you're needing some, some good materials for you can take the time to build it. Might as well see if that'll focus. Take the time uh, to try and source some good plywood. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. This is just another piece of uh, three eighths, but they also sell a uh, five by 10 panel, which may be perfect for some folks. You wanna build your nine foot, eight inch, whatever it is, a uh, longer version of the nutshell pram. You might want this longer piece for the bottom so you're not having to scarf a piece together. So we picked up uh, some pieces today. Let's see, this uh, three quarters going into some uh, transoms. The uh, three eighths gonna be a bottom and these uh, quarter inch pieces are gonna be uh, planks. What else can we say about this uh, marine grade plywood? Let's see, we talked about a kume, sapel, is a type of mahogany I was told today and it comes from different places and it's also should be marked which this was with the um, you want to see it if it's marked with the BS 1088 stamp which means British Standard 1088 has been tested for uh, on different things to make sure it actually is going to be good in the uh, marine environment I think I we have neatly put all those uh, stamps down on the other end. And this uh, this Akume had uh, Joubert uh, marked on it, made in France. So it's, uh, we'll get a picture of that later and send it to you. But Akume is what we use on our Penobscot 14 for the uh, planking. And we're real happy with it. Uh, one tip about buying plywood, if it depends on how you think you're gonna finish the boat, if you're gonna go with a varnish or a bright finish, then you probably wanna buy all your, especially if you have to scarf, scarf planks, probably wanna buy all your plywood from the same batch at the same time. That way, because if you buy one sheet today and buy another sheet a year from now, and you go to stain it, maybe, unpleasantly surprised at the differences that come out. I'm sorry, not stain, but uh, varnish. Now, if you're gonna stain and you're a master at staining and you know how to mix different stains together to get the same color stain throughout the entire uh, boat, then uh, 
obviously you don't need to be listening to my videos but uh, that's just something for someone who's starting off building a small boat to think about and that's also just uh, a reason why we tend to paint our boats um, paint's real easy to take care of a uh, varnish takes a little more care and I don't think in our experience it's been as uh, as tolerant of wear as a good uh, marine paint has been. So we thought we were gonna, we did the planking on the uh, Penobscot 14. I thought, oh, we'll, we'll finish it bright on the inside or maybe the outside. And once between, I think the six sets of planks, all of which were scarfed on either side, 12 different versions of plywood that went together to make it, there was uh, colors all over the place. So those are some tips on uh, marine ply if you got some more tips, uh, please post them in the comments. Or if you got questions, post those too. And we hope y'all are having fun and out uh, butchering lumber or making it into small boats so you can go uh, mucking about when the weather warms up.